Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. So today is gonna be a super quick video, at least I hope. Um, I am doing my everyday makeup slash going to the gym makeup. A lot of the time I don't even wear makeup to go to the gym, but I just wanted to put some, I have been wearing it just to like hide my pimple, my under eyes, and that's pretty much it. Um, so the first thing, so if you're interested in watching, then keep on watching. Okay, the first thing I am going to begin with is my eyebrows. And I don't like to do too much to them because, I mean, if it's a natural look, I don't feel like I need to darken them up too much. So I'm going to take this brow gal that's in my project pan. And I'm just going to, can you see me? Yeah. Outline them. And I don't care to be super precise because I can always clean it up if I need to. I literally just... don't even outline it too much I have come to a realization I mean I always say this but my eyebrows will never be the same so I have come to not love because I wish they were equal but just how do you say acceptance that they will never match up okay so I've done a little bit of filling in. So now I'm going to just brush. And I hope, hopefully I'll be getting my eyebrows done this week. Hopefully, we shall see. That's good enough, it looks natural. What is? I'm gonna take this Brow Gal Billion Dollar Brows uh, Clear Gel. I like to use a clear gel whenever I am not uh, doing another like a crazy look because I don't feel like my eyebrows need to be super um, defined like they just need to stay in place and show up you know what I mean so I'll use a clear one on natural days even though it's not on my project pan okay so after this step I will conceal And I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I don't even know what shade it's in. It's so old. <laughs> it's probably expired, to be honest. So I'm just going to take it wherever I feel like I need some coverage. I'm not even taking, um, how do you say, uh, primer. I don't think I need it. I mean, I do need it, right? If I was wearing like a full face of foundation, at least me. But I'm not, so I'm just taking that and I am... Taking my Blendiful. Yes, it needs to be cleaned. I know, I know. So I like to use this concealer more on um, natural days. Which is this today. Oh, what's on my lip? Crustiness. Okay, so now that's on there, I do set it a little bit. Just, I don't know. I used to never set my makeup, but now I set everything. So just taking the Becca um, Hydra Mist powder and adding powder everywhere, even though I don't have stuff everywhere. Okay, that's on there. Removing the excess. Okay, and in case you don't know which powder I'm talking about, it's the one that's in my project pan. And there's the back. Okay. So after this step, I am going to prime my lids. I just like to cover up um, 
the darkness because as you can tell my lids are a little dark and this is the Anastasia eye primer and pop grab a brush and just blend it out you can grab a use a blush use a blush oh my gosh you can use a brush or a, a blender whichever you prefer some people even do it with their fingers you can do it however you please it just depends what mood i'm in sometimes i'm in the mood for a blender sometimes i'm in the mood i mean for a sponge or sometimes i'm in the mood for a brush i don't need it this uh primer doesn't really need a lot of setting because it dries up fairly quickly and now i'm gonna do my eye look and i'm using uh this palette this is in my project pan and i am going to pop a brush taking a jaclyn hill brush with morphe and it's the jh30 just a big fluffy brush and i'm taking this uh what shade should we take what shade should we take we have so many to choose from take that yellowy mustardy shade i usually just take the brown one but today we are doing something different <laughs> crazy us okay so i literally just pop it everywhere because like we are being natural not extra today i don't even care that it's like looking the same on both eyes i don't because it's like fairly light you can't even tell too much it's on there just because of my skin tone i'm sure if i was lighter you would be able to see it more i mean you can see it you know what i mean but it's like a natural color and then i'm going to take that brown one and just You see what I talk about the shedding of these brushes? I want to try other brushes just because, I mean, they're good brushes, but some that don't shed as much. I'm sure, I don't know, maybe they all shed and I'm just being picky. Okay, now that's on there. And let's do the under eye real quick. I don't do a lot on days like this. I'm just going to take those two same shades on this uh, JH42 brush, it's a Morphe brush. Take the brown one first. So if you pack it on like with this brush, it's more visible than up top. Let's do some inner corner highlights. And of course, I'm taking this little shade right here. I love this as an inner corner highlight. I know there's not a lot going on because it's a natural look, but even when I'm doing a natural look, I love highlighting the inner corner. Sorry, I had a eye booger. Okay, now that's that. that now that that's done we're gonna add some um we're gonna bronze the cheeks and where the hell is the brush that i use to bronze up is it this one no it's not but who cares and i've been using this palette to bronze up too just because it's on my uh project pen and i want to make sure to use it up and it is a good bronzer for my skin tone so at least i think so right i'm like it's a good bronzer and everybody's like, no, Talia, it is not a good bronzer. I try not to go so heavy handed when I'm doing a natural look, but sometimes I go overboard with the bronzer. Let's just add it everywhere. And now we're going to add our blush and our blush this I'm using this one just to add some color not looking all one color all right 
Now we add some, we're gonna curl our lashes. Add some mascara. And we're taking my favorite mascara, it's a little pricey, but, so I probably will not be repurchasing it, but I have been loving this mascara. And it's the Ofra mascara, and I will show it to you in a minute. It is a very wet mascara, so if you don't wait for it to dry, you will get dirty. But you can always clean that. Okay, so that's how it leaves my lashes. And this is the HD Volumizing Mascara by Ofra. And actually, I always use for the bottom lash line, I use the Thrive Cosmetics one because since that one is so wet, I like using this one on the bottom because I don't get as uh, messy with it. And I don't need, I don't really necessarily care for as much volume on the bottom lashes as I care for the top lashes. And now we're gonna add some Bite Beauty Agave Lifetime Lift Therapy. This is what I like to use on a simple, slow day. <laughs> Looks like that, and I just pop my finger in there. Not even like a liner or anything, just like a natural therapy because I forgot to scrub today and my lips are looking a little dry. Shall we add some setting spray? I usually don't add setting spray because I'm like, what are you setting? But just to give us some moisture and why isn't this closing? I'm going to add some of my Glow Pixie Mist. Some, a lot. And that is a finished look. This is my everyday look. Girl not doing anything, going to HEB right now and then going to the gym later and yeah, that's it. So let me know if you like these videos. Let me know if you want little short videos like this. If you enjoy them, let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. Let me know if you like this video down below. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below anything you want. Just don't be mean. Subscribe if you like me. Subscribe if you like me. All right, guys, I will see y'all in, in my next one. Love you. Bye.